Hi, welcome to a Practical POR. This episode is going to be a little bit about the Scroll Scout uniform and breaking down what exactly all this means. Um, we're going to start with the most obvious stuff and then move on to the, some of the more specialist things. Uh, so if you're a parent watching this, or even a leader, um, the activity badges and state activity badges are what we would consider the quote-unquote uh, sort of normal badges uh, that you will get from most activities within scouting. Uh, so these are those little circular ones that may be blue or may be uh, of the green colour, which are your regular activity badges. Uh, they go on this left sleeve here. I advise thinking a little bit ahead on this. Um, chances are the Squirrel Scout uniform is going to be a little bit smaller than uh, the other sectional uniforms. And if they are a particularly good Squirrel Scout, they may end up with a large number of badges, perhaps 20 or so. So you may want to think about whether you want to have space for uh, three rows going down or two, uh, depending on how much space you think there might be. Um, moving on, we have the next most important ones, which I'd say would probably be these ones right here, the Challenge Awards. Um, so this is the road up to that Chief Scouts Acorn Award, which is the highest award that you'd be able to get in the uh, um, Squirrel Scouts. Um, that is a pinnacle top award um, and it's the the highest you can achieve for uh, the age range of the squirrels and to earn that you have to get a number of different of these challenge awards down here um, there's a set number that you have to get um, and they all require their own separate requirements that have to be be sort of brought towards um, as you see here in the squirrel section it's only four uh, these being the all about adventure all about me all around us and all together awards and once you have all four of those, you get the uh, Chief Scouts Acorn Award. Um, the next thing I want to really point out is that um, they should have a, as it says here, county badge and a district badge. So the way that Scouts are organised is it is uh, county district group is the organisational structure. So uh, this might be, for example, like Derbyshire or Cheshire as a county badge, which goes on the right hand side. And the district badge uh, might be something more local, like a town. Um, that would be your district badge. And group here is a little ribbon. So as it says here, group name tape, uh, that tends to go on top here. So that will be like uh, second uh, Huddersfield or whatever the case might be. It's the name of your scout group and that goes along the top. If you're missing any of these badges, uh, contact your uh, Squirrel Scout leaders and they'll be able to provide you with some um, as every uh, Scout has this kind of identifying uh, set on their right arm so that we know exactly which uh, Squirrel Scouts come from where in, in bigger events and in big group meetings. It has group badge here as well, that's separate to the group name tape. Um, you may be a part of a group that has some particular tradition with a uh, special Scout badge uh, that is only given to that group as an identifier. A lot of the time it's worn on the um, the necker, which is this piece of clothing here that goes around the neck and is secured by this, which is called a woggle. Um, usually group badges go on the back of the, the necker on the scarf here, um, but they can also be put here if you prefer not to do that. It's more of an optional thing. Um, sometimes groups will have their own requirements, but I'd say really go with the crowd unless you have a reason not to. Um, if you're in Northern Ireland or Scotland, you'll get one of these badges too. Uh, these go between the name tape and your county or district badges. Um, if you're not in Northern Ireland or Scotland, um, you won't have any badges here. Uh, England does not get an identifying badge at all. If you're from Wales, you get a different, again, you have this Wales badge. These go on the shoulders, as shown. Um, again, if you're not from Wales, you will not get any of these epaulette style badges. Um, the next most important thing to mention would be the membership award here. Uh, this is worn by every scout everywhere in the world. Uh, so if your scout uh, has um, an actual official uniform, has been given any number of badges at all, they absolutely should be wearing the membership award. Um, this is to show that you've taken the scout promise, basically, and uh, just that you're a full member of scouting. Um, without this, you could be someone who's just there visiting. Um, or trying it out for the first time. So it's sort of a point of pride to be sure to have this membership award on you. 
Um, the next most important thing would be uh, these joining in awards. These are the yearly badges. Uh, so these are square with a star in and number one, two, three, etc. And these donate the number of years in scouting that someone has, at least until they become an adult, at which point the, um, the sort of scheme changes. Uh, but until then, you end up putting these badges on your award, on your uh, on your lapel here, rather. And you should get one every single year. Uh, so if you've got a Squirrel Scout who's been in Squirrel Scouts for a little while and hasn't got any joining in awards, uh, then certainly chase that up. Uh, now this is the, probably, the, probably the biggest question mark you see, um, is that what are these occasional badges? Um, so I mentioned at the start about activity badges and state activity, activity badges being the green little ones and the blue little ones. Uh, if you've got any big badges that are um, larger sized and appear to have a particular camp on or a particular event on, those are what we call occasional badges and they're worn here. I want to emphasize you only ever have one occasional badge on your uniform at any given point. So if your Squirrel Scout has been to a camp and got a camp uh, badge on their uniform there and they get another one, you have to take off the original and put the new one on. Um, I've seen people who have several different badges up here and that's technically against the rules. Uh, for example, you may see some people with a number of different Remembrance Day badges and occasional badges actually have a time limit where they're never worn for more than six months, pretty much. Usually they're only worn for three months. Um, so if you see anybody with uh, a, whole, a whole number of different badges up here, generally that's not within the, the guidelines and, and rules. Um, in terms of what you do once you take those badges off your uniform, you're supposed to have a scout blanket which is a item of clothing that's part of a uh, scouting tradition that's not part of official uniform but is worn at big events and uh, at camps um, and essentially uh, the scout blanket contains all the badges that you've earned from um, those camps uh, or from events that you participated in um, that aren't actual awards that are recognized um, and additionally once your squirrel scout goes up to beavers for example uh, they will take all the badges off their Squirrel Scout uniform and put them on that Scout blanket. And that means that even though they might be wearing the Beaver uniform in future, um, when they go to a Beaver camp, they can show off their Scout blanket and show off all their Squirrel Scout uniform badges um, without having to you know, pull out a Squirrel Scout uh, uniform at that Beaver event, which would be a little bit strange. Um, so we have that special tradition in place for that. Um, in terms of the rest of the badges that you see on this, um, the main ones that come to mind are these three. Um, you shouldn't have to worry about these at all in terms of squirrel scouting. Um, basically, the Union flag is only worn by scouts that have gone abroad or been at some kind of large event like a jamboree with international participation. Uh, the chances of your squirrel scout actually being in and having gone to a jamboree um, are very small, given that it requires international sort of participation and things like that. So don't worry too much about the Union flag. Um, the Cornwall Scout badge is um, a very special award that's basically uh, given incredibly rarely, like once a year pretty much, um, across the entire UK um, for gallantry and sort of um, bravery and things like that. And as you'll see here as well, there's similar ones here in terms of gallantry, meritorious conduct, Chief Scout's personal war, commission's commendation. Uh, I don't imagine your Squirrel Scout will get these. Um, these are to do with saving someone's life, pretty much. Um, if something happens uh, inside or outside of scouting and um, your Squirrel Scout uses first aid, for example, they learned in scouting to save someone's life or to say, save a, a family member's life, then they will be eligible for one of these awards. Uh, on their on their uniform and to be to be sort of personally given out to them. Um, so if there's anyone that they're they're the best shot at getting, I would say um, if you somehow manage to get your squirrel to earn every single um, both challenge award and activity badge, you may be able to ask your scout leader to ask the commissioner for a commissioner's commendation um, for uh, exceptional squirrel scouting. Um, and once you earn one of these awards, you, they stay on you forever, um, even into adulthood and adult leadership. Uh, so if you did earn a commissioner's commendation somehow as a squirrel or one of these gallantry awards for saving the life of, of a friend or whatever, um, then that is an award that stays on your uniform 
through squirrels, beavers, etc., all the way up to uh, the day you leave scouts in your, in your 50s or 60s or whenever. Um, so that's been a little bit of an information about the squirrel scout uniform. Um, the cliff notes pretty much are most badges you'll receive from leaders will go on this arm. Um, the larger badges that have particular events are occasional badges. You only wear the most recent one of those, the rest of them get put on a scout blanket. Um, you should absolutely have a complete set of uh, badges on your right arm to identify which uh, unit your squirrel is from, because otherwise it might be difficult to tell in certain big events. Uh, you should get a joining in award for every year you're in scouting. Uh, you should absolutely have your membership award at all times. Uh, don't worry much about these badges up here, but these ones are very important. Um, getting your Chief Scout Squirrel Award, uh, Chief Scout Acorn Award, is the highest one you can get in a, scout, in a Squirrel Scout section. Uh, that's everything. Um, there's some additional things that may be good to mention um, in terms of um, if they are part of an Air Scout group or a Sea Scout group, they have special identification as well uh, that will be going on the uniform too. Uh, but that's going to be at the discretion of you asking your leader about that. If you're not by an airfield and you're not by the sea or a lake, uh, then I wouldn't uh, sort of imagine that you are part of an air scout or sea scout unit. Uh, that's everything though. Have a great day. Bye bye.